Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about writing decimal notation into a fraction notation. To begin with, we have our first question here as 0 0.7. 0 0.7, whatever is going to guide us here, when it comes to converting decimals into fractions, is the digit after the decimal point. After the decimal point here, it's only one digit. Meaning that its denominator must have one zero. And which number has one zero at the denominator? That is 10. Therefore, 0 0.7 is going to be 7 out of 10. Or, we can be guided by the decimal in words. This decimal in words is read as 7 tenths. Since its place value here is tenths. So this means this 7 tenths. 7 tenths as a fraction is 7 out of 10. Again here, we have 0 0.5. The number of digits here, at the decimal point, it's only one digit, meaning our denominator should ho should have only one zero. That is, this should be five out of ten. Or you can begin by writing the name of the decimal in words. Zero point five is five tenths because this five takes up the position of ten. So this as what's going to be 5 tenths. And 5 tenths as a fraction is 5 out of 10. Here we have 0 0.03. After the decimal point, there are two digits. Meaning that our answer, the denominator should have two zeros. Which is going to be 3 out of a hundred because a hundred has two zeros again you can as well be led by the name of the decimal point which is three hundreds since since three here takes up the position of hundreds zero is tenths then three is a hundred so three hundreds this one in fraction part is going to be three out of 100. Then the example here, we are given 3.85. When you look at the number of digits after the decimal point, there are two digits here, that is 8 and 5. Therefore, this tells you that when we are writing this one as a fraction, our denominator should have two zeros. Therefore, this one is going to be 385 out of 100. 3 is our whole number, and this is a fraction part of it. Let's have more examples. To work out this kind of equation, which is 141.3, after the decimal point on our right, how many digits are there? It's only one digit. Meaning, to write this as a fraction, our denominator should have only one zero. Because there's only one digit at the decimal point. Therefore, our answer is going to be 1,413 over 10. Over 10 because it was only one digit. Meaning, if it's one digit, it means one zero, which is over 10. In this question, you are given a 2.9. How many digits are there at the decimal point? Only one digit. Because only one digit, it means that our denominator should have only one zero. And that is a 10. So our answer is going to be 829 over 10. Here we have 4.28. Our decimal point is here. After the decimal point on our right, we have two digits. That is 2 and 8. Meaning that our denominator should have two zeros, which is 100. So it shall be 428 over 100. I wish you the best. And kindly remember to subscribe, press the notification bell, share with your friends, and practice. Remember practice, 
makes perfect. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.